Uh, welcome again. This is Peter from Examine China. Examine China is focused on company verification, quality controls in China, registration of trademarks. If you're doing OEMs, ODMs, you need to register your trademark in China. We can do it for you. We have a lot of experience in this expertise as well. As well is examinechina.com is focused on doing fresh data, quality checks, quality control. We can do whole due diligence for you before you will choose your right supplier. And I will tell you up front after 10 years, one major mistake that uh, many of beginners do is uh, trusting too early to your Chinese supplier, finding the right supplier, the trustworthy one with uh, high quality products. It's not so easy task as it could look at the first sight. Sometimes you just go to Alibaba and see how many products they got and think, wow, uh, so many great, great quality products. However, you can't be sure if you don't see the product in person or send the uh, quality inspector before you will start sourcing your products. So keep it in mind. Don't believe just the um, pictures on the website. Uh, second thing, how, how much is for the report if I want to check the company? Uh, we are really upfront with our pricing model and uh, it's no uh, subscription fees. You can pay as you go. You want to check this company. You can choose the right report for you, Panda, Tiger, Dragon, and uh, receive your re uh, report on email. So you, your Chinese supplier don't have any idea that we're doing the background check. So no worries about it. Also, the second project that we started a few years ago is ShipHub. ShipHub is like a booking com for international transport. So when you decide what kind of product you want to buy, you will have the need to transport this product from China by sea, by air cargo, maybe by train. So and uh, most popular, of course, is uh, uh, ocean freight. However, the train between East Europe and uh, China become more and more uh, popular. So also worth checking out. The platform for you is absolutely free. It's transparent. You see all the prices. We have the best freight forwarders in the world. We have uh, almost 100 freight forwarders on the platform right now. So they will be betting for your, uh, for your um, uh, RFQ request for quotation. So be sure to register on ShipHub as well. Uh, it can really help you with your uh, with your transportation with all the issues with customs clearance and so on also remember the custom clearance is very very important part of your importing products from china it's not just buying the product it's the whole process of importing the goods to your uh, domestic market and it's very important to understand the conditions of uh, of your market for example in united europe we've got c mark uh, for toys, for uh, electronic products, uh, uh, for, uh, smartphones, and so on, machinery. However, maybe in the United States, they will be totally different rules. So they've got FC, um, FDA, sorry, FCC, uh, Federal uh, Trade Commission. Many agencies that get on the rules that you need to obey to be sure that your custom clearance will go smoothly. Uh, plan of Maui webinar today. Uh, what you need to know about China sourcing, five steps of creating your sourcing empire, how to choose the product, which you don't need certificates. For some products, you need certificates. However, there are thousands of great products with great margins that you can import without any certification. So if you're just beginning, if you're thinking about choosing the product, maybe sometimes it's better to choose the product that's less complicated. Maybe don't start with the drones or smartphones. Maybe start with the accessories and it could be much easier import and still very uh, with uh, great profit margins for you. Uh, new product predictions for the next eight months. Every now and then there are coming new products. If you look at any given niche, you will find new products that are coming every year. Not only in customer electronics, look for even uh, markets like pet accessories, how many new things are coming every year, baby accessories, smartphone accessories, and so on. Uh, communication, quality control, and Q&A. If you got any questions to me about sourcing, please type it in the chat. I will do Q&A session in the end of our webinar, 
and I will share with you all the insights you need to know. So please stay to the end and uh, don't worry, don't, um, uh, don't fear, ask any question. Uh, all questions are great, so I'm looking forward to communicating with you. We have pretty small group today. However, I see already that you are very active in the chat. Uh, Belal, thank you, Eva, and I see uh, Kenan also. Great to be here. Where are you from? Where are you, where are you located? Um, okay, few need few things, uh, what you need to know about China, and I know there are many misconceptions about People's Republic of China as, as a market, as a sourcing empire, why China? Why not, uh, I don't know, any other country is the factory of the world? Uh, well, you need to understand that China is not longer only based on cheap labor. China is a sourcing empire and a factories, factory of the world because of automation, logistics, a lot of um, uh, smart logistics as well, and uh, the huge potential they got, and they decide to be factory of the world and uh, it's it's happened uh, also worth noticing is china's new silk road a lot of new routes between china russia middle east uh, europe africa uh, if you want to transport your cargo it's becoming an easier and easier and let's hope it will also become cheaper uh, i believe it will happen uh, so rail transports a few years ago it was just uh, uh, sometimes some some people thought it will be just uh, uh, just just a trend however it's here to stay so train transportation and even road transportation will become reality in the next uh, few months so uh, be sure that you uh, don't miss all the information also check our blog every now and then we will be posting information about uh, changes that becoming more and more important for importers. Uh, of course, uh, many uh, many people who don't understand China, who never been to China, think there are just uh, really small factories that are producing cheap goods. However, automatization, robotization of the factories is a fact. Also, the using of the drones, um, port automation become became reality. Use of uh, drones in e-commerce in every market. If you think China is a cheap land, uh, it, it's not true. Shanghai is the most expensive place to live in, even more expensive than uh, Tokyo or Hong Kong even. So China is on the rise still. The media, media sometimes don't like to talk about the Western media, but let's be honest, it's changing rapidly. Uh, I don't want to talk any politics today. It's not my expertise. However, I've been to China many, many times, and always when I come to China, I think sometimes that I'm uh, in, uh, in sci-fi movie like Blade Runner or something like that. So uh, be sure to don't under underestimate China, and I believe they are moving higher and higher with the quality of the products. So China is not only the cheap products that you maybe uh, think, it's also high quality product, machinery, um, high quality electronics, toys, whatever you need, they've got it. They've got it. You can't find the right supplier from China, I'm sure. A uh, few mistakes to avoid up front. I can tell you we've worked with thousands of importers, mainly in Europe, I will be honest with you. However, we also we've got clients in United States, Canada, Brazil, Australia, Africa. Uh, however, we, mo we mostly work with uh, clients with Europe. Uh, and I can tell you, no matter where you're from, the mistakes are the same. Uh, and the first is a uh, wrong supplier. Don't, if you're starting importing, don't overlook this criteria. You need to find the right partner. You know, you're not only buying the product. It needs to be partner. You will be negotiating with this partner, renegotiating some things, the packaging, uh, inserts like... Um, all the paperwork you need in your product, uh, timing, supply chain, supply chain management become more and more important in this area right now after COVID era. Uh, the second mistake, wrong product. Uh, sometimes 
not enough research into the product is a huge, huge mistake. You need to know to import the product with the right margins. You need to know that you will be uh, doing at least 100% of the margin on the product from the buying cost. Uh, third one, not doing quality checks. Any quality checks, uh, if, if it's not done, it's a huge mistake. Also, lack of knowledge about your supply chain. You need to understand your supply chain from the negotiating the product, production, um, customs in China, call the transport process, customs in your city, for example. Be sure to understand your whole supply chain. I will be talking a little more about this issue later. And uh, so the, the sixth one, sorry, the fifth one is uh, it's more psychological one, but it's also very important. As you know, the motivation, all these things, it works, it's very important. You can't uh, fear, you can't fear the import. You need to understand that many, many done it before you and it's not so hard. So you can do it. I believe you can do it. So the biggest, uh, biggest mistake sometimes is the fear and not... Uh, uh, anything else so don't don't fear no more we are here to help you and we will show you how to do it right it can be done uh, next thing how so how to do it how to build your import empire you have some ideas about the product about the company you build you need to have your dream your vision as well it's not only buying cheap products and selling in the other markets these times are over you need to build your own brand even if you're importing cases for the iPhones or something like that, build something that you will connect with your client, connect with your, um, uh, with your community. So the right product is absolutely crucial. Also the right supplier, quality, quality is the key, queen. Quality is the queen of supply chain and understanding your supply chain and you will be all good. Supply chain, as I mentioned, it's becoming more and more important. Uh, if you if you get subscription to Bloomberg.com, you've probably seen this article from the last week. They said that supply chain management is the most important skill in business right now. It's more important than understand uh, financial data and so on. So supply chain management is crucial. Uh, you need to understand how long that your cargo will be transported, no matter if it's marine time from, as I see the... Um, uh, uh, New York City, great to, to, to meet you. Uh, you probably will be transport your uh, cargo with a ship. There is no uh, train to New York from China for, for, for 2021. But maybe, uh, maybe you will choose ship. Maybe you will choose a uh, plane. Also, it's, it's a possibility. You can check on ship hub how the prices are from, uh, for example, from Shenzhen to, uh, to Milan, to New York, to Tokyo to Gdynia, to Hamburg, to Hanover. So check your supply chain before you will start importing and you need to know when you need to start negotiating, finding product. For example, if you're looking for, I don't know, maybe something for Christmas season, maybe something for, um, for New Year's Eve, fireworks or something, it should be already uh, packed, it should be produced uh, already uh, already done. So look at supply chain. And second thing is the product. It's very important to understand what the kind of products it's worth checking, worth importing. There's also something like HS and HTC codes. Any product that you will choose to import from China, any product, it could be shirt, it could be chair, it could be phone, have its own code. This code is for customs. It's kind of uh, naming for customs. They need to know what kind of product you are importing and how many, uh, how much tax you will need to pay, how much uh, uh, you need to pay when it's custom clearance uh, time. Uh, in Europe, you can check everything in Tariq. However, any major economy get their own system to check. It's always free. So just find your type custom tariffs in Google with name of your country, it could be uh, it could be Saudi Arabia, it could be uh, United States. I know United States got the systems like that. So be sure to check it out and you can find your product. Also, HTC search, you can find here many, many 
HS code for your product in English. So it's not rocket science. Be sure to find the product before you will import it. Many products got zero percentage of the custom tariffs. So, for example, you know probably this kind of uh, little headphones when you when you want to import them, you don't need to pay any uh, any tariffs. For example, in uh, United Europe, you can import to any uh, any country in United Europe, and you won't have to pay any uh, custom clearance. Uh, few other products in Europe that don't need any customs as well in USA. As you can see here also, home decor, very nice niche to importing products from China. 0% to USA, 0% to United Europe's great product. So when you're doing some product research, it's very important to decide what, uh, what product I want and check the custom tariff before you will buy it. And let me uh, let me say something clear. Your Chinese partner don't know the custom tariffs in every major markets. They just don't know. They don't know if you need to pay customs in uh, US, Europe, Saudi Arabia, Australia, or, uh, or Africa. So be sure that you do your own research, your own due diligence, and don't ask for everything your Chinese supplier. They will probably want to just sell you the product and uh, of course, I've got many friends in China and they are, good, they are great people. However, their, their main um, role as a seller on Alibaba is to sell you the product. As a business person, you probably understand uh, how it works. Uh, these products don't need certification as well. Also, also, So you don't need any certificate for packaging, textiles and clothing, clothing, uh, home and garden furniture. So also the great products you can find uh, in Alibaba or other places. I will also talk a little bit about these markets uh, that uh, you can find the products from, uh, from China. Uh, customer electronics, household, small gadget, eco-friendly. Eco-friendly packaging, but also other eco products are trending right now. Go green and all this uh, stuff is becoming more and more trending, more, more popular, that's good for the planet and you can give something extra for your clients. If your clients are focused on um, reusable, pro, uh, for example, uh, products that's created from reused uh, bottles, uh, Chinese factories can make the product like that for you. I will give you a few examples. Smart home, home furnishing, toys, all great markets, great niches. What I want to say to you, find your market and find your niche, build your own brand, build your brand from the ground. You can find a niche like accessories for smartphone. You can find something like um, pet electronics. But focus on uh, one niche. Don't go uh, all over the world. And uh, today I will start importing drones. Maybe tomorrow I will start importing uh, electric scooters. Focus. Focus is the name of the game. Uh, also, household items, very good uh, niche to get in. I would highly recommend household items. Smart home. Sometimes there is disruption in some categories. Uh, home used to be very boring category, maybe nice and without uh, customs uh, clearance tariffs and without maybe certification. However, not very interesting. Now, so many things becoming uh, smart. You've got, a, uh, you've got all that kind of smart home products, so very interesting. You don't need to very find something very innovative. You can focus on very small gadgets for the beginning, whatever you want to choose. Another idea that I can give you for sure, eco-friendly packaging, it's very good. All the markets, when you can sell, find one client, sign them as a client and sell them many times the same product. If you find, for example, restaurant chain, I've got a company that's our clients for many, many years. They are importing packaging for restaurants. They've got clients, the biggest operators of uh, restaurants like uh, McDonald's, KFC in Eastern Europe, and they are importing uh, packaging for them. And they've made millions of, of, this, of this small niche with just few clients. So remember, if you can resell the same product to the same client, it's also a great business model. So you need to understand your product, your niche, and also plan your business model. Uh, 
jewelry and clothing uh, it's also very uh, interesting niche i will say it's one of the best things you can import from china all pro probably all the companies you you love uh, are uh, that you are wearing clothes of many of them are producing many many goods in china from Uniqlo to Patagonia to, to even the high-end luxury brands. I don't want to mention any names, but you probably know them very, very well. Uh, jewelry, watches, bracelets, very great product. Why? Very small, easy to transport, no certification, huge margins. So worth checking, worth looking into. Uh, also, I, I mentioned the eco trends. Find something that you can uh, maybe market as a very uh, eco friendly gr green product. Uh, also, the new clients are coming to the market, Zillennials, and um, they are very focused on the more environmental friendly products. And it's, of course, very, very great. So, you can probably market to, the, to them product that is good for the planet for example don't just find a backpack build a story around the product uh, build some relation with the customer and then you can upsell them you're another imported product the beauty products also always great any product from animal if you knew the success story of chewy one of the biggest e-commerce success of the uh, covid times only animal products they don't they are not amazon but they've got uh, billions of dollars in valuation just selling pet pet products so i would say this category is one of the best to enter uh, definitely definitely uh, the hot one smart home of course and also always look for new trends to find a new product something interesting the biggest tra trading fair in China, Canton Fair, is coming. And I've got great news for you. This edition will be hybrid edition. What it means that we will be offline version in China in Guangzhou. However, it will also take place online. So you can connect with your laptop, with your smartphone, enjoy the thousands of great Chinese suppliers. So I would say go to online version of Canton Fair, not Alibaba. It's a better place to find the product. Just few products I'm showing you from previous edition of Canton Fair. I've been to Canton Fair many, many times, and trust me, it's still the best place to sourcing your products from China. If we're talking about thousands of suppliers in the one place under one roof, so when you will have um, opportunity to go to Canton Fair, you can join our our trip. Probably we will be uh, organizing um, trip for Canton Fair for our sourcing pros. However, if uh, you want, you can just join online. Well, Canton Fair, it uh, will be from 15th of October, as I remember, but where I can find sourcing products for sourcing today? What I want to I wanna just check what's, what's out there. Of course, there's always Alibaba.com, probably the l l most well-known place in the internet when it comes to sourcing from China. And Alibaba could be great. You can find great suppliers in Alibaba. Uh, however, always remember to uh, to understand the platform, to check how ch check the pricing, and you will see the pricing will drop when you will order the biggest bigger um, number of product. Always good idea to uh, to talk to to your supplier to ask about certification, and uh, you will receive from me scripts ready scripts that you can use to uh, to talk to your chinese suppliers so be, so be sure to open uh, open my emails after the presentation in, in the next days always when you are doing some research finding products on counterfeit or on alibaba always do the research check the amazon prices for example it's the easiest way you can check your local amazon i know it's very big in the US, however, in, uh, in Europe as well, in Germany, very strong uh, marketplace, uh, in the Great Britain and so on. Amazon could be a great platform to selling your Chinese product, but always find the product with the right margins, find, find, find something that you can cheap, buy cheap and sell with a nice profit. Uh, it's your work, it's your business, uh, add something from you, add maybe your logo, something interesting for the client 
Also, good idea is find accessories categories. What I mean? Uh, when you're fi finding the product, I, I wouldn't recommend to build your own camera, to build your own smartphone, something like that. Uh, it's very hard, to be honest. Uh, it's very expensive. Uh, however, and it's crowded, crowded places. You, it will be very hard to competing with, uh, uh, with, uh, with Apple in the laptop category, in Le with Lenovo, Asus, and so on. Uh, however, you can build on these huge, huge markets on categories like laptop bags, maybe some other accessories, maybe lighting. When it comes to photography, everyone wants the best camera, the best camera body, the best lenses for the camera. However, when it comes to lighting, people are uh, more and more um, trustworthy to newcoming brands, maybe to some cool backpacks for your cameras. That's better way to build your brand, in my opinion. Uh, about few words about transportations, about transport from China. Well, as I mentioned already, you've got, uh, you've got many forms of transport. You need to find freight forwarder. It's the easiest way to say. You can find them on ShipHub, for example, and be sure to also at least understand uh, Incoterms 2020. Incoterms stands for International Commercial Terms, and it's regulate all the data, all the details, sorry, between seller and buyer. Uh, insurance, transportation cost, who owns the, uh, the cargo. And so understand the Incoterms. You can find, you can find the free Incoterms ebook on our website. So please check it out. We also send it to you. So don't worry, you will get it. However, uh, it's very important to understand uh, your Incoterms. When it comes to China, just focus on these four Incoterms and you will be good. Avoid CIF and DDP. I don't have many time to go through this. However, sometimes we are also hosting webinars focused of, on importing products from China, but on transport. So the webinar about international transport, how it works, uh, how to choose the right incoterms, how to choose the right form of transport. I will send you an email. This webinar about transport, international transport is also absolutely free. So be sure to join. Uh, well, um, you need to understand the Incoterms, verified supplier, negotiate delivery and sign the contract, find a good customs agent and carry out custom clearance. These steps are going, are these five steps to safe import and shipping. Uh, I also uh, want to say a few words about finding your dream supplier. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, and, and I will repeat it briefly, the great supplier is the uh, most important thing you need to find. Find your dream supplier where. So where, where you can go to find your suppliers. For example, trade shows is a great opportunity. Well, in this situation, st still uh, not um, resolved with all the COVID situation. Not many trade shows are hold on and no many Chinese companies are coming. However, let's hope it will change in the next months. However, many trades are going online right now. I will show you the Canton online and other online places and also the platforms. You probably know Alibaba. I mentioned it before. However, I also would recommend to check these other platforms. Uh, 1688 is platform only for Chinese suppliers. It's, it's in, in Chinese. However, the pricing are really good on this platform. HKTDC, a little slipper. However, good products. And uh, I would highly recommend HKTDC as well as madeinchina.com. Uh, all these platforms are worth checking out. If you don't know how to use the platform, you have some ideas, some questions, send me an email. I'm here to help. We've got the whole team focused on uh, searching the supplier. Also, I can find supplier for you if you don't know how. If you're not, if this is what trust was supplier or not. You will tell me the product and we will, with my office in China, we will find the right supplier for you if it's the right match or not. 
uh, we will work with you. Uh, the best way to find supplier, in my opinion, is go to mainly for main, main, main of the importers. It will be going to import and export chain uh, fair in uh, Guangzhou, China. The autumn edition is coming from 15, 15th of October. So uh, definitely worth going. And uh, cantonfair.org.cn is official website. If you just type Canton Fair in Google, you will find it. And uh, also a few, few other uh, fairs worth checking out. Uh, before you will order the right amount of supplies, right amount of product. For example, you wanted to source uh, uh, covers for your phones. Well, okay, great product. You have some idea how to create a new cover. Uh, the new phones always come by uh, in autumn, so probably good idea to, to start importing for the new Samsung. iPhone 13 is coming, we know that all, uh, as, uh, as iPhone 11, uh, 11, 12 and so on are, came last year in autumn, so uh, probably is, uh, it would be a nice product. However, before you will uh, order the huge quantity of, uh, of this iPhone 13 cases, I would recommend strongly first to do some sampling. So uh, ask your Chinese supplier, please send me by DHL probably uh, just a few samples in many colors. I want to check out if it looks good, uh, the quality and uh, every detail of my product. I just can't trust with uh, only with the pictures, with the videos. When you will decide, okay, this is the great quality product, the price is right. Uh, I want to proceed, I want to import this product. Uh, it will be also important to do quality control before shipping. We do this kind of uh, quality checks uh, almost every day for our clients. We will check every detail of your product so uh, we can send our team to any place in China. So contact examinechina.com and you will be taken care of. Uh, also, I want to tell, tell a few things about uh, talking to Chinese partners, to Chinese uh, suppliers. Um, I've got a lot of um, experience in this uh, in this uh, in this issue. So, first, uh, speak simple English, uh, and it's always the best to communicate clearly. Uh, ask very concrete questions. Also, communicate with video chat. I think uh, we are past the just only email communication. It was, uh, in the 90s, it was great. However, we are in a new era. Everyone is using even this webinar, Zoom chat, no matter where you are. You're in Germany, you are in uh, New York, you are in uh, Shenzhen. You can communicate on video. It's a better form of communication. They can show you the product. They can show you the, the product to the camera, say, okay, this looks like this, this color is like this. How big is this, uh, this product? Well, maybe uh, you can compare to the, uh, to the, uh, to the can of, uh, of soda. So use the video, just ask, if, ask frequently as you can. This is the new form of communication. And even if you will join Canton for online, you will have access to live streams from the booths. So this is a uh, new era of sourcing. Uh, I will say install WeChat as well. Uh, I know you probably using many, uh, maybe uh, maybe Messenger, maybe WhatsApp, Viber, uh, Telegram, any other form of uh, of communication. However, in China, WeChat is the king. Uh, um, more than a billion people in China are on WeChat. It lo looks and works something like WhatsApp or platforms. And very similar, so you will get familiar familiar quickly. If you want to do business in China, you need to be on WeChat. At me on WeChat. At me on WeChat if you want. Uh, let's let's be friends on WeChat. Uh, also, look for long-term relationships. Uh, if you talk to seasoned Chinese businessmen, to factory owners, uh, they don't look just for client who will buy uh, ten thousand covers once and go fish. They're looking for long-term business relationship to a pa partner that will bring them many business in upcoming years. If you will go to China to visit your factory, your partner, they will probably pick you up from the 
airport in the newest Tesla, take to the uh, high-end restaurant with uh, 10 courses because they want to show off. They want to say it uh, with the gesture. I want to do business with you. We are the best. What we are doing with, uh, with our product, let's cooperate. So look for long term. Uh, always uh, there is fine. There is always uh, um, some space for bargaining. So always it's good to ask. Don't ask just please drop the price, but ask. If uh, how many products I need to order from you? What's your MOQ to uh, have a better pricing? So negotiating with the Chinese partners is a skill. Uh, on the other webinars, I will be happy to learn you uh, to, to teach you. Sorry about uh, about a few few secret tactics as well. Uh, I know that Dominic already linked the group before uh, to our chat. We are just starting building this group. So if you are on Facebook feel free to join it's absolutely free of course it's closed group but you will be able to join to ask a question with other sourcing pros we i'm on this group i will be if you have a question for me that you think other sourcing pros can get some value from please ask the question public maybe you've even got some fun link maybe some information that you want to share about china about uh, upcoming clothes and so on it's also worth to sharing with the group with other sourcing uh, pros and uh, be free to to join also uh, contact for me you can peter at examine china also uh, ship hub contact i see that my email already been shared with the group so feel free to ask me anything and now i will be going to q a to uh, to give you uh, answers so thank you very much for joining 